Psychology. Accountancy. PE. IT. Sociology. Music technology. English literature. VTEC sport. Religious studies. Business. English language. Media studies. Philosophy. Maths. Biology. Chemistry. Theatre studies. Classical civilization. Computing. History. Physics. Photography. Languages. Graphic art. Economics. And coaching studies. I did look around at other colleges, but this was definitely the one for me. What I found at the open day is at Totten that you're not just a number on a database. Like, they actually wanted me to be here. It's a good feel, the students seem nice. Everyone was so friendly. I didn't want the school environment again. I've done school, I've been head boy, I've been a prefect. I decided it was time to move on. It was smaller, it was more friendly. It did the courses I wanted to take. And the facilities and the courses here weren't offered at my sixth form. For what I wanted to do, the college was perfect. The science baccalaureate is very good for what I do, because I do all the sciences. The course for music here is pretty much the best in the country. They were very pro helping me because I'm dyslexic and because of the basketball they had a good coach. It was the top choice for the course for me. I don't really think it took me long to settle in because everyone was so welcoming. I made loads of new friends. I really enjoyed the start of term. And before you know it, you're cracking on with the course. I wasn't expecting the massive work that I got. There was a shock at the start of the year when you don't get as good grades as you expect. It was a transition up in level, but it was one that I really enjoyed. The work's actually more interesting, I find. There is a temptation to just sit back, go out all the time. I had to sort of like mature a little bit more. You free periods as well, but you've got to use those periods you know, sensibly. That's part of getting used to college. Completely new experience. It's completely different to school. Good morning, Jill. I think everyone realises that they this is their future, this is what they need to do and they've got to work hard to achieve it. You've got to do a lot more independent learning. If you don't do it, then they're just going to keep chasing you up till you do it. You just have to be a lot more organised than you did at um, GCSE level. Studying at college has sort of taught me that I need to have self-motivation, I need to be able to work on my own. If you want to have more control over your learning, then I'd say this is probably the place where you want to go. I've learned so much. I've worked really hard now for these summer exams, which is good, which has made me become more of a self-motivated person. As long as you keep on top of all your work, it's fine. They love what they teach. It makes you want to do well. It makes you want to love what you're doing. The subject specialism is something that I'm very passionate about. When we're passionate about the subjects, so are they. It gives you that drive to actually do something for yourself. I really love working with the students, seeing their enthusiasm. And we really believe in what we do. That's what keeps me coming into work. I get paid to talk about my favourite thing, which is, which is pretty cool. We encourage and nurture the students, but at the same time being allowed, you know, freedom and independence. We want to develop strong moral characters and good young men and women. Having a choice and a direction in their own learning. And I've really seen students develop, discovering something for themselves. I've seen the difference. Just seeing that come across every day is fantastic. The relationship between students and teachers is massively more relaxed at college. Teachers recognise you in the corridor. Just the fact of being able to wear your own clothes, talking to the teachers with their first names. It's much more mature, it gives you that sense of independence. They talk to you in the same way they'd talk to other adults. They're also making sure that they don't cross the boundary to be too much of a friend, they're still your teacher. If you ever need any help, they'll go out of their way completely. It makes you feel more comfortable about like, talking to them about any problems you have at home. They can sense when something's wrong and then they can sit and talk to you. My father passed away in February and I've been seeing the college counsellor and they have been absolutely wonderful, they've been so helpful. You don't feel so on your own if you're going through something at home, they're there to support you. You can send a text and then they'll be there and arrange a meeting and help you. Whether you're aiming for the higher grades and want a little bit of assistance just to push you that little bit further or you have fallen behind, you don't need to be embarrassed about asking for help because it's just there. They know exactly what they can do to help you as an individual. Last night I had a phone call from the student advisor just to talk about medical schools and she sent a big application booklet. I've had a, an issue with one of my essays 
where I was emailing through the Easter holidays and you would have thought that teachers wouldn't be on the email on Good Friday, and, but they are. Even going down to the careers office and just being like, I don't know what to do, can you help me with work experience? It's really great knowing that they've always got five minutes spare. You definitely feel like you've got someone supporting you even when they're not there and I think that's really important. You've all got your quotations from the Revengers tragedy, so if you could see what links um, you can make with Hamlet. Hamlet's only doing it because he blames Claudius. And so goes to heaven, and so am I revenge. And it's more personal. I will speak daggers to her. Excellent, well done. He's saying I will speak daggers to her, but use none. Um, and they actually physically have the dagger, so that would be a nice link. Okay, make sure your wrists are straight. Keep your abs nice and tight. Good. Make sure you're looking down at the ground. The demonstration was good, you gave all of the teaching points and you also moved around him so yeah. that you could view him from different angles. You come here to get a qualification and if you want the A grade or you want the distinction, take it, it's yours. We're talking about the highest UCAS point scores really. If people work hard they'll generally do very well. But there's no guarantee, you want a guarantee, buy a toaster. So how do we actually help those students target admissions. It comes down to the people. We've got great staff. Encouraging students to develop their own ideas. Our students are being taught by professionals who've actually been there and done it. We are the college for students who want to do well. got our own bus that comes from Amesbury. It's a bit long but it's worth it. Even though my days are longer I don't regret coming here for a minute. It's so worth it. I wouldn't get this type of course anywhere else. When I start driving I'll probably still have the bus pass because it works out cheaper than it does to drive to college every day. And really, circle stretch the fingertips on that last bit. Good Sophie. Side retiring circle and again dropping one, two, You've got to find evidence that social media makes the world a more democratic place, or perhaps not. Let's get to it. Democracy was kind of stopped by social media when Facebook and Twitter were kind of hacked into. Mm -hmm. One person, one blogger. Yeah. So it kind of denies mm. democracy. That's good, that's good. The winger receives the ball, they cross the ball, you run in, back post, front post, and try and finish. Fruit one, off we go. Well done. The Academy exists to give students the, the opportunity to train alongside their academic studies so they can train um, to an elite standard as well as studying whichever pathway is best for their career. We have a number of international standard athletes that make up part of the coaching team. I played for England under 16 and I'm in the under 18 England squad. We think our academy is strong enough to attract students outside the area to come here specifically for that individual training. I started swimming competitively about five and a half years ago. My sprints are getting faster and I've got a good coach. The 10 games, 20 games and all that could be bullet points. You see you've gone down, down onto a second page. It shrinks to one page there. That looks a bit neater. Having the library up here is always 
an advantage because I can come up and just study on my own. Even in this room now, everyone's working, working hard, good work ethic. If you don't really want to go home because you'll be distracted to do your work, then you come up here and it's quiet and you can just sit down and get on with everything. The gym is fantastic. That's another reason why I wanted to come. You get your induction free, so that's brilliant. It's great, you know, if you've got an hour free, you've got no work to do, go in there. Because I'm quite interested in theatre, uh, having Hangar Farm Arts Centre, Link to the college is great. It's a fantastic art space that is just free for the college to use. It's a full professional working theatre. We do Rock Challenge, um, which I did last year, which is a dance competition. I had opportunity to perform in that. And we won the Southern Grand Final as well. So that was just the cherry on top. I remember when I first walked into the college for an interview, and I just got this overwhelming feeling of how friendly it was. You feel welcome as soon as you walk in. Just so relaxed, everyone gets along. There's no one that you wouldn't want to approach. You know more people when you're walking around. You don't feel intimidated by anyone. I feel quite safe here. It's like a big family. Really inspiring. Just a really nice atmosphere to come into. Just somewhere that's brilliant to learn. dreams are made of me. So if you can crack on with the ethnicity and achievement starter activity. Black students are negatively labelled by who? Teachers. What happens when they're negatively labelled? Self-fulfilling prophecy. Who said the self-fulfilling prophecy? Rosenthal and Jacobson. Well so, anybody else? Vibrant. Independent. Busy. Supportive. Relaxed. Energetic. Intimate. Sociable. It's a feeling. It's a lovely college to work in. Yeah, it's the students. And um, coming, to, to coming to work is not a bore, it's not a chore at all. I really enjoyed my time and I think I got a lot out of it. I can learn in my own way. I feel more confident in myself, more confident with my academic ability. I feel I've made progress as a person. I think college does make you grow up a lot. And the people are fantastic. I'm going to benefit massively. They're inspiring teachers. They're at such a high standard. Top class, without a doubt, it's top class. Oh, I love all my subjects. Don't regret anything at the moment, not one thing. It's just been an amazing experience and if I could do it again, I would.